But in 1958, when I was roughly nine years old, my dad enrolled me in the People's Art Center. Because I was drawing on the walls of the kitchen and uh, he knew that I needed training, I shouldn't be doing that. Solomon and I met at Webster College in the mid-60s, 1966 to be exact, and we immediately connected, so we started talking to each other literally in stories. My father, when I was a little kid, he would set out sketch paper all the time and, you know, maybe set up a shoe or some other type of object and teach us, you know, how to draw, how to fo follow lines, which, of course, it segued into me developing this love for photography. Solomon Thurman is a local treasure. Solomon's an educator, an artist, a philanthropist, and an activist when it comes to social justice. In 1985, I had an opportunity to learn something about the aviation mural that was dedicated at Lambert St. Louis International Airport's main terminal. On that 147 foot mural, there were no African Americans there. And I grew up around Tuskegee Airmen when I was a kid, so I knew that that was not right. While working at McDonnell Douglas, there was an artist named Spencer Taylor who worked there, who did all types of conceptual projects for the company. And then when the opportunity to try to do a mural at the airport came about, I reached out to Spencer and asked him would he like to work with me on trying to formulate a proposal to get that project done. Working with Spencer, uh, he was a master painter, absolutely masterful. And to work with him for those five years was almost like going through a master's program at school. Every time I walk by black Americans in flight, the mural at the Lambert Airport, I brag to whoever I'm with, that's my friend, Solomon Thurman. Look at how great of an artist he is. In doing the 90s, uh, I did some small commissions, but one of the highlights of that 90s period was doing a portrait of Celia, a slave. But in doing the portrait, I had to do the research that was involved in it. It took six months for me to go through all of that to find out that there was none. So I had to conceptualize what Celia looked like based on Celia's story. That was a beautiful, beautiful project because uh, it made me reach out to historical fact information about projects and, and paintings that I did in the future. We first became acquainted over 60 years ago. We were neighbors. We were footwear maintenance engineers. Everybody else called us shoeshine boys. From 9 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock in the evening, every Saturday at a shoeshine parlor, we would, myself, Solomon, my brother Robert, and our friend William, would walk from the shoeshine parlor back home. It's a painting that I commissioned him to do. He got it absolutely right. Uh, even down to this one little tidbit, the dog would run out every time we come get close to his house. He barks, he snarls, he charges at us. Our friend William jumps to the forefront and he starts to box the dog. Solomon and I met around 2000. When I think of Solomon, I think of someone who is a talented artist but he is also a gifted educator, he's a community activist, but most of all, he's a kind person. It was a program we did at, the, at a safe house, a women's safe house here in St. Louis. But we also knew that these women were very vulnerable when they came in. And the artist that we would put in had to be a very special person. It had to be someone that, um, the women could trust. It had to be someone that they felt safe with. Solomon went in there and it was phenomenal. I mean, he not only empowered the women to work through their pain, he helped them to bridge um, where they were to where they wanted to go. I watched my dad, uh, you know, take some courageous steps throughout life, you know, to become a full-time artist. Um, lead uh, classes. I'm traveling to, to Kenya next month, and I think a lot of that has to do with him. Solomon is all about the journey. He's all about the next project. 
not the project he just completed, but the next project. So the journey, it, it looks like a constant movement of everything moving at all times. I would love to thank the Arts and Education Council for this fabulous award. I'm very honored to receive it. Uh, it's actually a great accomplishment in my life, looking at my whole career. Uh, to receive this award is probably the pinnacle of my whole career. So it gives me an opportunity to talk about myself and I just love doing that.